uh, as a title. I'm going to be talking about this bad returns that I, I know everybody has them, but this one was pretty high and uh, it just sucks. <laughs> it's a, I'll explain it more as in depth and uh, as we get in a positive note this morning. Uh, it's Monday and most of, some of these are, uh, I just got a decent sales this morning. We have a good start this morning. So keep it on the better note. Let's, I'll show you what sold and, and we'll talk about, uh, returns that, that really hurt you. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, uh, let's start with the first one. So I got this, um, holiday. Uh, I think I got this. I don't know. I think I, um, yeah, it's a yard sale. Of course, a yard sale. Um, I paid five bucks for this holiday living and I, what I do is I always do videos and I take it out of the box, make sure everything's working and there was something not working. I didn't know that this thing's like vibrates. Um, so yeah, I still sold it for $58.95 and that was what it cost at Lowe's. I don't know how long ago, but so they almost paid full retail for it. And I uh, paid five dollars, so total with shipping and comes to seventy eight thirty one. So uh, not a not a bad sale for even for not if one of the functions not working. So uh, and what was that? The one these packages already did. Uh, the next one is oh I I, I shouldn't have bought this, but as a printer, there's money in printers, but. I just didn't feel like testing it. Um, I just didn't have the, I don't know, I just didn't feel like doing it. <laughs> so it was so bulky and I just said, well, I paid five bucks for it. I parted it out and this this sold for $19 and $9.95 to ship. So I made my money back, made a little profit. And I got another part that's I think worth more. So uh, there you go. You can always part things out, check them out before, you know, before you throw it out. It's like, eh, let me see if I can part this out. Do you make my money back? Maybe a little profit. So that's what I did with that. And this one, my wife bought this one and I think she paid $7 for this. It is a uh, Pampered Chef ice cream maker. So that's cool. Uh, it sold for $34.95 and $12.95 to ship. And yeah, it's not a huge sale, but it's not bad. And what else is the next one we got? Oh, some I've had these forever, guys. Some uh, Banana Republic. I've been going through my old listings and just kind of revising everything and making things discounted because I don't pay much for this. So there's some uh, Banana Republic plaid uh, dress pants, women's dress pants. Um, I think I paid a dollar for them and they sell for $14.85 to ship. So, got those out of here. Finally, I'm trying to, I'm getting some old stuff out of here by revising and um, just getting stuff blown out of here and accepting an offer. And this is an awesome sale. Um, I bought a huge train set for like 50 bucks and I probably, I don't know, we're close to like $1,000 in sales off that. Um, I wish I had that yard sale video, but my SD card got corrupted. So that sucks. <laughs> so you can't see that video. But I bought a awesome, lot of stuff there too, and we're way on the profit. So yeah, I got more, some more to list. It's a couple more, not much more, but um, yeah. And I still, I think I have a couple ones that are worth like three hundred dollars and hundred dollar range. So yeah, this one sold for. This one's called uh, Copper Roberts. I guess it rides around like a copper rider, go thing around, goes around it, and it sold for twenty five dollars and twelve ninety five to ship. And I'm already in the profit on that. So let's see what else. I already did that one. I did that one, so let's go to the next one. So I had some more stuff I printed out. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, I had a, this was cool. This is one of the things you really like to do eBay for is I got this, um, it's a frog lamp. And I have that on video because you can see it. Yeah. So if, it's, if, it, if the lamp is cool, really nice looking, I'll, and it's vintage or cool looking, like unique, my wife will buy it. I've sold lamps before. I just sold one. Uh, 
I think it's in this yard sale photo, the lamp we just sold for, I think we paid 10. We sold it for a hundred bucks. It was a monkey lamp and yeah, so that was cool. And I think I already got a re review on that. So that one turned out good. Just gonna make sure I um, pack this good. And $7, like seven fifty, eight bucks. And the customer said that he's so happy because his girlfriend had this one, the same lamp when she was a, a little. I don't know if they broke it or whatever. And he was like, he was so excited because he found the exact same one that she had. And that's one of the reasons eBay's when I sell stuff like that. It's just like the effort and me trying to find stuff. And it's just cool. Um, I'm glad somebody's going to really enjoy it. Recycle it to somebody that really needs it. Somebody that really wants it. So let's go to the next one, man. Oh. And this was a good sale. We've had this one for a little while, I think. Maybe it was too high or, or whatever. And I just want to see exactly how much I paid for it. Uh, I said we paid $20 for it. So it's a Kate Spade purse. And we've had it since... Uh, it's not been that long. I thought we had a lot longer. So we said it... No. Uh, yo, we just... No. The wrong thing. Yeah, we've had it since 2029, 20, 22, we listed it. So we've had it for going to go on two years. And uh, we had a big sell. And I think we had it listed too high, probably. We had it for one seventy ninety five, But it ended up selling with discounts for one third with everything shipping. So for one thirty four ninety six, So uh, 20 into total with everything, one thirty four ninety six. So it's a nice case space, like immaculate condition. It's a really good condition. So that's good. Good sale right there. Get that out. And I think that's one, another one I revised and put it back up in the cycle and kind of adjust everything, brought the price down. Yeah, that's cool. I'm really excited about that. And, and I just got this Friday. I went to a church sale and I bought this. It has no plug or no microphone. It's, it's a, I think it's sure. I don't know if you can see that. It's called a, I don't have so much lighting and over here in the corner is like, I need to set up my camera better. Um, it's a SLX4, LX4 and it's two of them. No power cord, I had one, so I tested them, showed them, made a video and explained everything. And it's only has, it's supposed to have four antennas and that it's missing two of them. And it's supposed to have microphones, but you can just get some microphones. If you have everything with the microphones and everything, the whole setup, like $300 or more. So this one sold with no power cord or no microphone, sold for $109.95. And uh, I bought some other electronics and some of them turned out not to work. And I overlooked them because I was excited. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be like, I paid $20 for two of these. And so I'm going to have to add another to me like $35 on top of it because of the other ones that didn't work. So after fees and everything, I probably still make like 40, 50 bucks, but I have another one that's more and it's better. So I'm already, I already made my money back and still a good sell. And it sold really quick. It sold in less than two days. So it's already out of here. I already made my money back. So that's always good. Let's go to the next one. We're at the time at nine mark, minute mark. Uh, I bought a whole bunch of these clocks. Um, you know, you guys know these clocks. I don't know, Cinco, whatever they, those uh, uh, clocks that move around and stuff. Um, I had probably like six of them, and they were they weren't working. I think I paid, I think I paid forty dollars for like six or seven of them, and they weren't working. So I've already sold one that was functioning, but one function wasn't working. I think I sold it for sixty. I haven't listed them because I was just kind of I don't know. I just didn't list them. I'm starting to list them now. And they've already, they've already, two of them already sold and I have one. I still have to go through some more. So I need to start. They're not that hard to list either. So that one sold for $38.95 and $16.95 to ship. So that was a broken one. So trying to make me money back on that. And what was the other thing? I showed that. So uh, got all that. Yeah, I think I showed you everything. So that's what's going out. I did a whole bunch of packing yesterday. We sold some other pretty cool stuff from uh, Friday's stuff. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I was going to talk about the return. 
Um, the return is coming. <laughs> it sucks, man. It does suck. Uh, let me see. I've sold, I've made my money. I've, if these were, uh, I went to a closeout. It was a Ford dealership here in town and I got a connection through that told me because they know I resell and that's how you build relationships and told me that there, this place was going to have, they're going to, their Ford dealership was get, like get rid of the stuff inside. And I, I used to work in the field of mechanics. I know that part, car parts and stuff like that can be worth really good money. So that's what I was looking for. So we went there and we found a whole bunch of car parts, a lot of stuff. And I was so excited and I, and it was actually for employees only, but they didn't care. So I think I paid all these car seats. I, I think I paid total with everything like floor mats, brand new and all kinds of stuff like these custom, um, floor mats, no seat covers and floor mats, but these seat covers were leather and I can't even pr pronounce a name. Uh, it's made by, I'll put a link up here. Maybe it's cats, cats, King leather interior, I guess dealership buy them and you can go like customize them and they're pure leather. I don't know if they take the cloth seats and put these on. I'm not sure, but they're like, if you buy them new, like 1400 bucks and some of them are really expensive. And these are the newer models, like 2004, 2024 Jeep Wranglers. And the guy total cost with this was, was $976 and 61 cents and $58. So total came to um, over a thousand dollars. So he opens a return return and says, well, he asked me, Oh, I got the wrong ones. And it sucks. I said of the four seat, I wanted the two seat. And yeah, so I'm waiting for that to get returned that. And then do you guys, when you guys get big purchase, do you wait and take the money out of eBay or leave it in there? I don't know. It's still going to come out of your account. It just, all the sales I've had in the last couple, like, six or seven days granted i've made more than that but yeah so whatever when it gets here i think it's going to get here today and i have to make sure everything's in order so then i have to go deal with that what if there's something wrong you know granted that he's paid to ship it back and he's not going to do the shipping back but i really didn't make much off that at the end the shipping i made a little bit like five bucks extra because i had signing and uh insurance on it so and he probably didn't pay insurance to come back. So, yeah, that sucks. How do you guys put in the comments a thousand dollar return? It's a gut punch, man, because a thousand dollar return that some people's weak, you know. Uh, and now, now I'm <laughs> it just sucks. Um, that's part of business, um, and it's just the way it is, man. So, hope you guys, I'm gonna try to try to do some more videos like this and leave a comment. And please like and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to try to put yard sale videos every Saturday. I mean, every Sunday. Put those out and do one of these uh, maybe once a week. Something I thought was cool to talk about and show you some good sales. And yeah, keep in the community. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba.